everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm finally starting the actual construction process on our woodshed. I'm starting down at this corner here, uh, and the reason I chose this corner is because this, uh, this corner is the least able to be moved around. Uh, what you were sitting on as a camera, human being, uh, is a giant tree stump. Uh, it is about two feet wide, it's an old white pine, and there's one massive root that goes this way, there's another massive root that goes that way, and I'm sure there's lots of other roots uh, you know, down under the ground as well. I found a place where I could sink a hole right here, kind of between the two, and this is what I'm going to use to kind of build all the rest off of, because this is the least uh, manipulatable position. So I was able to find a spot. Um, there's going to be, you know, obviously this corner here. There's going to be another corner probably around here, about uh, eight feet over in that direction. There'll be another corner up that way, 16 feet at a right angle from this one. Uh, but anyway, this is going to uh, be kind of the the base point that I'm going to reference everything else off of. I, I'm using a Solon tube, or, or no, they're called they're sauna tubes, they're called sauna tubes, I believe. Um, and uh, I haven't used these before. Uh, the reason I'm using them is, I don't know why I'm using them. I'm not sure why I chose to use them this time. I think to save concrete. Oftentimes I would, ah, there's mosquitoes down here. Oftentimes I would just kind of fill the hole with concrete, but I'm just, uh, you know, I, I don't want to use a lot of concrete this time. So I, uh, I dug a hole down, I went almost three feet down under the ground. Around here you're supposed to go four to five feet under the ground. Um, I went three feet under the ground just because, you know, honestly, just mostly just because I'm lazy and I'm going to compensate by uh, building up ground around it. River right now is bringing me some rocks and we're using these rocks to uh, help uh, extend our concrete. River's finding rocks and he's cleaning them uh, and getting them wet and then I'm taking them and I'm setting them down into the concrete here. Uh, I'm making sure that they're not touching the edges. They're, uh, it's going to have a, a contiguous uh, outside surface of this, uh, this concrete mix. But these are good infill and they're, you know, they're strong. They're going to support uh, the weight that's put down on top of them. But yeah, I am making sure that they are not, uh, they're not touching the edges. I'm kind of putting them right in the middle. And River's also, uh, in, while he's washing them, he's also pre-soaking them because you don't want them to be dry when they go in. Uh, the last touch that I'm going to be putting on the top here is one of these little angle bolts. And uh, uh, the way that I always set these angle bolts, so you're not going to be able to see it when I do it, and the camera's probably going to time out before I get there anyway, is I use a clothespin. I decide how much I want to have above the, uh, the surface of the concrete. Usually about like maybe an inch, something like that. Maybe a little less. Three quarters of an inch, something like that. And... Uh, and I'm going to err on the side of longer. I'm going to do about an inch. So I set the bottom surface of this clothespin about an inch from the top. And what I'll do is I'm going to take this, worm it down into the concrete. And uh, the clothespin does a couple things. It kind of sits on the surface of the concrete so that the pin doesn't uh, you know, uh, sink down lower. It also uh, keeps it kind of level once it's in there. So I, I find that to be kind of a, a helpful little uh, technique to make sure that they, you, know, you don't put them in and then they sort of slump over or something like that or sink down down below the surface, so I'll be doing that. But for now, I'm just uh, shoveling more concrete in, and it's exciting to be getting this part of the process going. I was thinking earlier today, uh, the day today, well, yesterday was the uh, anniversary of September 11th, so today's September 12th. We still have plenty of nice days to work outside, but to do concrete work, it can't be cold at night. Uh, well, you, you don't want it to be cold at night. The concrete's gonna cure better if it's not allowed to get uh, too cold. So, uh, you know, I really want to get all these concrete bits done before it gets too cold. After, after the concrete's done, it can get as cold as it wants, and I can do my car carpentry work, but I want to at least get this done. But whatever reason I come up with to get a flame under my ass to get going, you know, I just run with it. That's it. Thanks for watching.